Sure, trouble finds us the same way you found me. Slumped in a bar, drunk on self-pity. I'd been sitting at the bar for three hours, or about five years, depending on how you looked at things. I tried not to look at things. I tried not to think about when it was that my existence became less about the things that make up people's lives and more about the holes that losing those things leave behind. But I wasn't doing a very good job at it. These pricks had been annoying me for days. They were typical Jersey rich kids. The ringleader, I think his name was Tony, his dad was some well-known hood, drug dealer, racketeer, pillar of the New Jersey community. Line them up, line them up, line them up. Let me ask you a question. Let's go. Where the fuck are your donuts? <laughs> this kid had a well-developed sense of humor for New Jersey. <laughs> Seriously. I thought I told you to get out of here, old man. Yeah, get old, out man. Of here, old man. <laughs> nice echo. The gorillas have personalities of their own, or they just agree with everything you say. Very funny, old Peace. man. Very it up. Snap it up. Funny. funny. That's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, has been washed up old cops. You go on TV. Yeah. Tell some jokes about how you got your wife killed or some shit. Yeah, where's the little old lady? Or. Hey. How you got involved with killers? Oh. I own this town, Vigo. <laughs> That's a good line. You practice that in front of the mirror in your underwear? Your father owns this town. Yeah, dear old dad, well-known drug dealer and murderer. You're nothing but a chump. Hey, you disrespect my family. You ain't got the right. Hey, you don't take that from this punk tone. I ain't taking nothing from him. God hasn't already deprived him of but I might oh, start any time. Now say you're sorry. Yeah, you say you're sorry. Ass being caught, motherfucker. Say you are sorry. Say you're fucking sorry. Look away from me. Look away from me. Don't you stare at me. Say you're sorry. Listen to him. Which you want first? Don't act clever, you fucking leather jacket, dipshit cop cut. Don't act clever. Yeah, right. I will blow your brains oh, all over this Fuck counter, this every fucking where. Come on, Tony. Calm yeah, don't fuck with me, Marty. I'll shoot you as well. Marty. Don't fuck with me. Marty, he ain't fucking kidding. Put your gun down, son. Who the fuck is this? Put the gun down now. Oh, 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 hey, oh, hey, oh, hey, oh. hey, 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 Thank you, thank you. Stay now get the fuck me. out of here before you get shot. I got you. Who the fuck are you? I got you. Don't worry about it. Fuck. Go on. I'm a fuck off. Get you, you motherfucker. I'm back for you, yeah. you fuck. I look forward I got to it. Yeah? Stay right here. Stay right here. You don't know who you're fucking with. Yeah, whatever. Max fucking Bane. How you doing, man? I'm doing about as good as I look. You don't remember me? Pasos. How pasos? Come on, we went to the academy together, man. You don't remember? That's going back a long way, French. I spent five years on the beat in the Bronx, working homicide. I nearly got killed, man. I gave up. I got into private work. Here, Central America, Brazil, where my family comes from? All over. Ah, that's great. Travel, see the world. <laughs> yeah. Keeps me busy. I take care of people, you know? Proper bodyguarding. Hey, I'm working for a good firm. I'm actually here on a bit of a recruitment drive. Yeah, well, why don't you drive on off back into the sunset there, Pesos? It's been nice catching up. At least let me buy you a drink. Yeah, sure. Anybody can buy me a drink. All right, two more. Look, this is the way we do it in Brazil, baby. I had to admit, I kind of like the guy. Hey, another round, another round. Max is buying. He, he had a great set of stories, but I still wasn't interested in becoming a white knight again. Saúl. Cheers. Well, I don't look like I go to Shakespeare or something. Well, I'm full. Saúl. Cheers. You faggot still got something to say to me? Yeah. Fuck off. I don't like spicks who tell me to fuck off. Well, good for you. Now fuck off. Don't stare at me, whore. Fuck you, asshole, no dick asshole. What, what'd you say? You heard me. I'm not frightened of you, you spray tan guido douche. You Girl sure had balls. I had to give her that. <laughs> oh, shit! I don't know why I did it. I guess I never liked seeing girls get hit. But from that moment, I was dead in that town. Okay, I'm moving. 
The bar held a lot of memories for me. Most of them fuzzy, but memories nonetheless. This looked like goodbye. They'd barred the front door. Of course, we were trapped in here. The only way out was through the back, exactly where they wanted us. I'd gotten into my share of bar fights, but that night made me wish for any one of those. It ain't often you get nostalgic for getting your ass kicked by six sailors on shore leave. Maybe I wanted to die there, amongst the empty bottles and my slept-in clothes. When you write your life into a tragedy, events don't always follow suit. to see what's waiting outside for us. saying the cops, but this was no time for bad jokes.
this easy for us, are they? Stay over here. Cover me. Yes, sir. He could have been setting me up for a fall. Something told me to stay put. Trust me. took a few minutes to get back. It's a nice place you got here, homie. Thanks for noticing. Why are you living like this? Like what? You know, scratching around? Sitting in bars all day? Maybe I just haven't found the right guy to put a bullet through my head yet. I just don't know. I can get you work, Max. Work that only a guy like you can do. <laughs> can you give me work sitting in a bar feeling sorry for myself? Where do I sign up? Saúde. Gesundheit. You were the best guy in the academy. And you won medals on the street. Hey, I lost loved ones on the street. All right? Family. More than once. Yeah, I know. So leave. Start over. You've mourned enough. Nah. I ain't a cop no more. And this ain't cop work. This is protecting people in places where the cops ain't too hot. <sighs> no thanks, pal. I think I just better lay low for a while. You! I want on the roof! You! I want on every door! About that plan. I'm coming after you, you motherfucking murdering bastard! Made a hundred angry grease balls! Who's that? Anthony DeMarco is the father of the kid I just shot. Max yeah, that Max looks about right. Pain! You killed my boy! You killed my only son! We gotta get out of here now. Are you not inviting these guys in? When did I ever need to invite trouble in? It always found me, no matter where I hid. Vamos, man, let's go! Drug! I thought if I was going to be shot in the face in here, it would probably be me pulling the trigger. Be afraid of the fires. You think they'll hurt you? You think they'll char your skin and char your bones? But it'll make you clean in the long run. The joys of hygiene! Seeing Brewer go out like that, but I got to thinking it was what he was waiting for 
a chance to make a difference. At least that's what helps me sleep at night. The apartment made me wish I'd got to know him better. of Captain Baseball Bat Boy, episode 203. We join our hero on a date at the arcade with Bicycle Helmet Girl. Yeah, we're not on a date. We join our hero on a top secret training mission. That's more like it. When in the blink of an eye, the trickster sussy appears <laughs> and grabs mm -hmm. Bicycle Helmet Girl. Uh, help me, Baseball Bat Boy. <laughs> I'll save you. Beast is loaded. Here's the wind-up and the pitch. Then suddenly, the trickster Sassy presents his latest evil trick, a devilish aging ray. Oh, no, Triple B. Don't get unnaturally old before your time. Don't worry, Bicycle Helmet Girl. I'll never get old. Oh, Drat, I got old. Hit a grand slam and save me, Triple B. Oh. Oh, gee willikers! <laughs> How will our hero hit a home run when he can't even run the bases anymore? What will he do next? <sighs> Find out in the next episode of The Adventures of Captain Baseball Bat Boy! Hippos get hungry in the middle of the night. Good thing Hippos Hamburgers is open 24 hours. Try the Hippo Family Pack. Keep those little hippos fat. left of your life over dead bodies and a few loose roof tiles. If I thought things through, I may have sat down and let myself burn right there. Fire over Hoboken. It felt strange to be at the center of it again. The target, that is. Like an old comedian hearing one last round of applause. Coming into Newark Airport. Get 
right on the Pulaski, pal. Don't look down. All right, guys, let's look alive. We're gonna get this prick. <clears throat> Come on, I wanna hear some motivation. Let's go. Hey, what was that? What was what? I heard something. Up there! Up where? Up there! What you bitching? There, brother. I need his help. Five minutes ago. You thought you were doing fine. Yeah, well, it doesn't feel that way. Well, you ain't lost it. Hey, it looks like there might be a way down through the wreck up here. There were wrecks all around, and not the kind you fix up for a weekend project. These were the wrecks you crossed the road to avoid. us when they're covering all the angles. in here? Come on, let's go! Come on! These chumps have been chopping up cars around the corner from my apartment for the last year. The ex-cop and me clocked it months ago. 
but the deadbeat and me didn't give a shit. What the fuck? Oh, shit, Show the blood so much. How's this look? these parts. Let's just get over there. Yeah? Think you need a hand? No, do you? Let's go, Amigo. You like that? <laughs> Should be a bit quieter in here. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, I can see why you'd want to leave this place, Max. It's real charming. <laughs> Isn't it? So look, I got some friends in Queens. We can stay there for a few days. Queens. Uh, you want a job yet, Max? <laughs> <laughs> 